You're watching my barrio, my mundo, and welcome to Brussels, the capital of Belgium and of the EU. This is Romilo, and I will be your guide on the things to see in Brussels. Enjoy! First stop, the Gros Place. This square in Brussels is hidden away in the center of the city, but when you enter on foot, you are guaranteed to be left awestruck. At the center of the Gros Place is the beautiful 15th century city hall, but dotted around the square you will also be impressed by the six guild halls and their striking architecture. Now let's visit Brussels Notre Dame du Sablon. This spectacular Gothic cathedral began life in the 14th century when it was used as a chapel by the Archer's Guild. It was extensively expanded in the next century to the popularity and supposed healing powers of the Madonna statue located within. The statue was allegedly stolen by a husband and wife, theme of thieves, in a rowing boat. The location of the statue is unknown, but the story is commemorated by a life-size model inside the building. And let's learn about lace in the Costume Museum. Lace is one of Brussels' oldest crafts, and the art of needlepoint lace which was first developed in Italy, was one of the main industries in Brussels. The museum details of lace outfits were made as well, as displaying many historical outfits. The exhibitions are ever-changing, but are always well presented. I hope you are still enjoying our tour. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon for uploads every Sunday. Now let's pause and admire Le Boutanique. Le Boutanique was historically the botanical gardens of the city and still attracts a large number of guests in the modern day. The greenhouse, which dates back to the 19th century, now regularly plays host to a range of performing arts and makes the place feel like more of a cultural center than just a garden. And now to the Palais Royal or Royal Palace. Although the royal family of Belgium now spend their lives at Lycan, the Royal Palace in Brussels remains as their official residence. The palace is open for tourists in the summer months and makes a worthy addition to any itinerary while visiting the city. The most notable room in the palace has a ceiling covered in the wings of beetles, forming an oddly beautiful mosaic. The artwork, as well as the interior decor, is also as splendid as you might expect from a royal palace. I leave you for now to enjoy the rest of the rooms and let's see each other later at the Manica Piss. It's time for a laugh or even a giggle at the mannequin piss or manica piss rather the name simply translates to little man p and it has been given this name for obvious reasons this odd statue has risen to fame and is a popular tourist attraction in the city the statue takes a little bit of skill in hunting down and let's just see it as a part of a tour but it is worth persevering you will find it by taking the right lane away from the town hall the statue is thought to date back to early 17th century. Now let's get your feel of art at the Musée Royal de Boussin. If you are craving for some top-notch art, and you should be when you are in a European capital, then look no further than this museum. The museum incorporates collections of modern and ancient art across a range of styles. Famous works at the museum include the Fall of Acarus, 
and various paintings by the Antwerp painter Peter Rubens. There are also works by Anthony Van Dyck and Hans Mimling on display. Allow close to a full day to be able to fully appreciate the museum. Let's cool down a bit and relax in the Parc du Cinquantenaire. The Parc du Cinquantenaire has been around since the reign of Leopold II. It is a great place to visit for a number of reasons. Whether you plan on having a picnic on the grass while absorbing the stunning architecture, or when you intend to appreciate the vast collection of 35,000 artifacts housed in the museums here. And if you're tired, it's time to wind down. And what's the best way to wind down? But to enjoy a beer. But to enjoy a beer tour at Brussels. Belgians are very proud of their beer, and it has played an important role throughout the history of the city. Tours are available that allow beer aficionados to experience the best pubs in the city as well as learning about the history of the beer and seeing how it is made in one of the city's breweries. Just listen to this guy. And every Lambic brewery has his own style. Uh, I could give you two Lambic or even two quick Lambic with cherry from different brewery with totally opposite taste. Those beer, uh, what's really particular is that the brewers don't put yeast in it and uh, the fermentation process is what you call spontaneous fermentation. The same process than for champagne. So for a lot Let's conclude our tour and I hope you enjoy the sights and sounds of the city as well as the flavors. Enjoy your drinks. Until next time, your Koya Nankoke Romulo. Thank you for joining the tour. If you enjoyed what you've just seen, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more of the beauty of places, events, and cultures here on my body, my mundra. See you in the next video.